Peace, peace. What's going on, everybody out there? Hey, this is something that I really, that I really try to get across to youngsters. Okay, in the streets, it's very different from the penitentiaries. It's very different, different from prison in terms of the cultural experiences, the social constructs, what's expected of you, and things like that. Right? See, in in the streets, a lot of these youngsters who are in gangs are very loose. They don't really have any psychological. Uh, they're not really, uh, they don't have any psychological finesse, they don't have any psychological skills, so they are, they're on the street, and in the streets, you know, things are loose, but when you get into prison, everything's regimented, regimented, um, everything is, mili it's like militarized, in the sense that you could be coming into prison from the streets, you, you're, you're a gangbanger, you've got bodies under your belt, you think you're a tough guy, but in prison, you're not prepared for that psychological finesse, in the sense that you might be on the yard thinking you're a tough guy, and somebody comes into the yard, somebody's in reception that you've heard about, and you know that this guy's a rat. So you go to your homies on the yard, your car, and you say, hey, such and such is in receiving. He's about to come up to the yard in a few hours. He's a rat. I know he's a rat. Now, because you're trying to be cool, you're trying to be tough, and uh, you know, you're know, you bringing that, that, that bravado that you had from the street into the prison. Now you got to be held accountable for every little thing. Now one of those guys is going to come up to you and say, hey, since you're the one that brought that information up about dude being a rat, take this, take this knife and kill him. <laughs> And then you're like, what? I didn't know. I just wanted to tell you guys. I didn't want to kill him. No, now you got to kill him because you brought it up. You spoke on it. And that's why I try to teach kids, don't get involved in situations that you don't have anything to do with. Don't be the first person to reveal information. And pretend to be dumb. Play dumb in the streets. Play dumb in the prisons. Because there's a lot of people out there who are psychological masters. And you're not going to be able to compete with these guys if you're 19, 20 years old. You, 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 you think you can compete with a 56-year-old man that's been in prison half his life? A guy who's a psychological master who knows every single psychological game out there? You think you can match up to him and you've never even been to prison? This is your first bid? No, you're going to get manipulated and you're going to get psychologically outmatched in this psychological chess game. And, I, and a lot of kids don't get that. They don't get that. All of that looseness on the streets doesn't equate into the prison system. When you get into the prison system, man, it's a whole different ball game. You know, you're going to be telling stories and stuff like that about what you did to people and who you had beef with, who you shot. And then somebody come up to you and say, yo, such and such, the dude that you was telling, the, the dude in the story that you said you shot on 87th Street, his cousin's over there. He just dropped the kite and said he's about to get you. He wants to, he want, he want to fade with you. Fade with the knives, matter of fact, because you know there's a hands-off policy, knives-only policy in here. He wants, he wants, he sent the kite over. He wants to fade you with the knife, and you're thinking, man, I was just telling the story. So you got to keep your mouth shut in the streets in the prison. Act like you're stupid. Act like you don't know anything about nothing. Don't be the guy revealing information. Don't be the guy bringing something up for the first time. Be the guy who only responds to situations. And when you respond, make sure you respond in a way that's so general that nobody can actually say that you feel one way or the other. you got to keep it in the middle. You can't put yourself out there and let people know what, what's in your hand or what's in your mind because these psychological masters out there will get you. And a lot of these kids who are going, who, who are in the streets gangbanging, thinking that it's all good because they've got weapons and stuff like that on the street, when you go into the prison, the guns get checked in. It's all about knife play. It's all about psychological uh, wizard, wizardry. Guy come up to you and say, "Hey man, I see you just made it to the uh, yard. Do you do you have any, have your hygiene? You know, hygiene is important, man, because sometimes we get locked down and you might not be able to take a shower for a couple of days. And you know, so hygiene, you gotta have your hygiene products. Nah, I ain't got nothing, man. I just got this state issue soap. Yo, take this, take this hair conditioner, this shampoo, take this body wash, take this loofah. Do your thing, yo. That's that's you. All right, thanks, bro." Yeah, next thing you know, on commissary day, dude, come up in your cell, yo, I, I need that back. What you mean? Give me that. I need double what I gave you. That, so it's like these kids coming off the street, they don't have that psychological finesse as to where they can recognize psychological game and, and maneuver around that. So you kids better stay out that pen, boy. Peace.